Good morning. Welcome guys. My name is Melody Lane and I do Cricut Design Space classes for free for everybody. You never have to pay to learn from me. Uh, it's every Saturday morning, 11 a.m. Eastern. And during our classes, we always do a giveaway. So if you're in the live chat uh, on YouTube, you can be entered into the giveaway. We give it away live. Welcome guys, my name is Melody Lane and I do Cricut Design Space. Sorry, she needs to be quiet. Okay, <laughs> uh, but today we have two winners to announce for $230 paper bundles each. They each get one and the hashtag what I learned Melody also We'll wait till we get some more likes on this video and we will also do the $25 giveaway and it's Pinterest inspired today so that's everybody's favorite but first thing we do in design space class is look at the new images but let me tell you where we are we are on YouTube we're on my Facebook my personal page we're in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, and my Facebook group, Cricut Joy Projects. I forget the name of that group. Cricut Joy Machine and Projects with Melody Lane. Um, so I'm so glad to see all of you here. Um, say hi in the chat if you're here. And we should be able to see you if you're on Facebook, but you can't. Enter to win unless you're on YouTube because the Nightbot robot guy in YouTube is going to pick a winner from the YouTube chat. Um, so hopefully you can come on over. I put a link to that in the Facebook chats too, in the Facebook video. All right, let's get started. Um... I'm like, hold on. I just lost it for a second. Forgot where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> okay, this is Design Space 6.2.10. There, you can see it. And we're going to go to images. And we're going to go to image sets. If you're on a mobile device, click on highlighted categories to get this list. Now, if you want to see that again, because I still get many questions for this. Maybe those people aren't watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing, Paula. Um, but I get this question all the time. Where do I find my old cartridges, my linked cartridges? Where do I find the things I purchased? Thank you for subscribing, Julie. And we're gonna click here. Well, this isn't where I just was. So we're gonna go up here to categories. And now we're gonna go to image sets. And now these are the most updated, except for, I'm not sure why this one is at the top. And these are from a mystery box and these were just released now for anybody to purchase. And these are brand new. I have not seen the front and back animal outlines. They have lots of different front and back animals that are so cute. You could put like one, this on the front and this on the back of a shirt. It's really cute. Or you can make earrings with these on the front and this on the back. There's 48 images. That means there's 24 different animals. Snowmobiling silhouettes. That's new. Pet silhouettes. Tropical Island. 26 images. I like that parrot. That would be really pretty with infusible ink. Oh man, I want to put that on a pillow. Wouldn't that be pretty with infusible ink? You know how those cut. Oh, the, I I I just got excited, and I love this one too. That would be beautiful with infusible ink, and the sunglasses. Design Space does have a ton of sunglasses like this with like palm trees in them and stuff. Okay, botany plants lately. <laughs> That's cute. I'm a sucker for you. There's 15 images. Eat, drink, and be rosemary. 
celebrate the good times with it like that rooting for you looking sharp with a cactus those are so cute cuba designs very cool footballs 40 images of footballs so nobody tell me they can't find a football because there's already footballs in design space and now they just added 40 more uh, these are new this week so everything I'm showing you is new this week contemporary shape designs 40 images and I haven't seen these and I checked a few days ago these are really cool dice designs I did look at this one these are cool there's 30 images Valentine long cut designs or signs so these are perfect for the joy machine or uh, the maker or explore some of them go up to 24 inches but you can slice them and do bigger than the map projects with them also quarantine Valentine I think we came into these last week last week there were so many new ones so I showed all of these last week if you've missed that how many likes do we have on the video okay so today we're doing Pinterest inspired that means we're going to actually make a project from scratch and I'm gonna share it with you in the YouTube chat so you have to be on YouTube to grab the link um, we have 147 likes we need a few more in order to do the giveaways okay let's get started over here and we're gonna to go to Pinterest so in Pinterest I typed in chilling with my and somebody sent me a chilling with my snowmies and it was really cute they uh, showed me that last night and so I thought well let's let me do chilling with my and because there's chilling with my gnomies um, chilling with my snowmies and there's chilling with my peeps and Easter is coming too so um, this is really cute one here chilling with my snowmies so I want you to tell me in the chat do you want snowmies do you want gnomies or do you want peeps and you're going to help me decide what we're doing today and while we do that we're gonna do some shout outs real fast Here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on patreon.com slash Melody Lane. Jane, Rita, Sue, Bonnie, Lynn, Mary, Amy, Michelle, Janet, Carrie, Kit Kat, Marie, Patricia, Ashley, Pamela, Joanne, Sharon, Debbie, Stacy, Nancy, Lynn, Angela, Becky, Susan, Sharon, Ken's Creations, Vivian, Donna, Marcina, Tammy, Sarah, Deborah, Jeannie, Lori, Mouse Baby, Linda, Kimberly, Bobby, and Mary. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Oh, and somebody just asked, did you show searching cartridges by um, ownership? Let me show that. So when you're in the image sets, you can click on ownership and click on purchased. So then it will show you the ones you've purchased. And if you purchase digital mystery boxes, they will be in this list. When I do digital mystery box videos and show you how to get them, I don't normally show this, but I should because, uh, well, mine aren't showing up right now, probably because I'm streaming a live video, but uh they will show up in this area but you can see i have 479 so scrolling through these for me is not very um easy 
because there's so many. But then I can search too. If you know the name of the one that you own, you can search that too. So, okay. I think we have enough likes to announce the giveaways that we have and then we'll do the live giveaway in a few minutes. So the hashtag what I learned giveaway, this is for $25 and it's through PayPal or Amazon gift card or some gift card online that I can purchase for you and have it emailed to you. So the first winner is Cynthia Welford. So to enter this, you don't have to be live. You can enter at any time, day or night. All you have to do is share one of my videos. So she shared this video. If you would click on this on her post, it would take you right to the video. She also added the hashtag what I learned melody. That's what enters you into the giveaway. You have to add, have that hashtag what I learned melody. All one word, no spaces 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 and share the video and tell me what you learned she just made this simple she learned how to resize the corners of an insert card in this video that's all you have to do to enter she entered this back in october and she won today you're always entered as soon as you share it okay my youtube chat seems to be stuck over here on this is your chat I can see the chat um, in my restream chat but on the YouTube link I, I'm not seeing the chat okay so congratulations Cynthia needs to contact me on my website just click the contact or just scroll down to the bottom of the page and I need your email address for what you use for tell me if you want it through PayPal or um, um, PayPal or Amazon I'm trying to read and speak at the same time and not speak what I'm reading because I'm reading your chat I just got the Boy, there's lots of peeps and lots of snow me. So we're going to try to do both of those or no me's, right? Did I see more no me's? Yeah, the gnomes. Peeps and gnomes are the winners that we're going to really try that. I don't think we'll have time for snow me's, but maybe we will. Maybe we can just switch out the images. Okay. Um, how many likes do we have now? Can we? Do the next giveaway. I lost you. You're still there. Okay. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get these out of the way. And we're going to do the giveaways for the $230 giveaway for the paper. So here is the winner from the January 9th video, Lynn B. So Lynn B, please contact me uh, through MelodyLaneInspired.com and uh, I need your address to send it to Cricut so Cricut will send you your prize package. It's Mystery of Paper Products from Cricut. And can we get some more likes? We have Jackie, is it Lape or Lap or Lapi? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not good with last names. She's our winner from our January 16th video. If you've watched those videos, you knew how to enter. And congratulations. Please contact me so we can get your address to Cricut so they can send you your prize. And... Remember, during these videos, I always do $25 giveaway, and uh, I'm going to start doing once a month. At least I can do it for this year. Once a month, I'm going to give away a cutie. I've already given away a cutie this month. There may possibly be one next week. It's a bonus week. 
because it's the fifth Saturday. So make sure you watch uh, the win. I don't just give away a certain color. The winner gets to choose the color from what I have of extras. So I have extra cuties. So um, make sure you watch every video because I might not tell you there's going to be a cutie giveaway. Okay. All right. The chat is going so fast. So we're going to go back to Pinterest. Here's a shout out to a few of the people Sorry. who support. And let's do chilling with my peeps first. I think I'm just looking at different ones. Did I do one of these before? I don't remember. I like this one. This one I could probably make out of free images. I could probably make any of the peeps out of free images. All right. First, let's just do some peeps. Let me bring up design space. We're going to go here to new. Let's go to images. We're going to go to all images and look for peep. Okay, there's none there. We got bunnies chilling with my peeps, which, I mean, they're just not those peeps. But I think we have some peeps. That look like the peep candy. If not, we can probably make them. I think we do have them somewhere in design space, but I don't know what they'd be called. Let me do peeps. I and I don't know that. I guess not. All right, so let's make a peep. You're going to learn some welding. We're going to need a few circles. Okay. We're going to unlock it. Let me look at what a peep looks like. Wrong one. Where the peeps go? Uh, kind of like a snowman with bunny ears. I'm going to pull this off to the side. You're saying go back, there was a peep. Oh, was I unpurchased? Okay, let's go back to images. When I was in image sets, uh, no, I wasn't unpurchased. I don't think. Maybe um, it could be in spring too. I mean, they might be inside some of these. But I don't see, somebody said try bunnies. There's chocolate bunnies.
peeps are the little ducks too. So there were those, but we're just gonna make our own. I want this a little fatter. Cause they're marshmallow, right? So we have one ear, so all we have to do is duplicate it. Move it over a little. Does this look like a peep? If it was the right color. Okay, I want a pink one. So we have to go to advanced, get this over to pink, not purple. Easter chick. Try chicks. <laughs> you guys are so against me making one. I'm going to align these center horizontally. Bottom is too round. How's that? Let's see. Does that look like a peep? I think it does. Are the ears too small? All images and peep. Okay. What color is it? I have that one, but that's just the head. Oh yeah, hanging with my peeps. There's these. I don't think they look like the marshmallow things as well. I think I think this is good. And oh, do you guys? Oh wait, this is gonna be for vinyl, not. This will be for iron on. So we want to make it. Um, Um, so we can do layers easily without tons of layers on our unlock. There we go. Okay, this is the eye. I think these are too big. If I delete that one, if I make one eye, I, if I change the size, I just duplicate it so I know they're the same. How's that? Are we good on that? We're going to click these and attach them. We could weld them and slice them through, but this little bit of a layer on here will be fine. Or do you want me to slice them through? Let me know if you want these sliced through. And then all we have to do is duplicate. I'm gonna group it so I can duplicate it. If you want more colors, all we have to do is click on the pink, change one to yellow. Um, what color are they? Green or blue? I 
Are they blue? We have slice and no slice. Good, slice, slice, <laughs> slice. Slice would be good so you know where to put them. No slice. Okay, let me show you something. If you want them sliced, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So all you do is these have to be welded. So weld them and uh, select it and slice. If you don't have a slice option, it's because you have more than two images or it's grouped together, you can't slice. Now I sliced it so I can pull these pieces out of the way. I'm gonna hide that. So you could do it like this without these on top also, or you can do it like this. Now this one sliced, if you don't want this one sliced, you can always click contour and click on them and bring it back to not being sliced. And then if you want it sliced, you can hit contour and bring it back. And if you like this one, let's group these. We're gonna hide them just so they're there. We'll just duplicate this, change the colors again. We don't have to slice each one. See how that goes? But then we need these if you want them. So you just duplicate them. They'll fit in there. And I'm going to group these just because we're going to be moving them around and stuff. So if you don't want them sliced, you can contour to get them out. Uh, for right now, we're also going to make them smaller. Okay, we're going to be chilling. So we're going to go to some text. Um, how do we want to do this? I think we could curve it a little. Curving does not work on an iPad. We need to change the font. Does anybody have a font they want to use? Kathy says, Melody makes everything seem so easy. It is easy. Do you see how fast we just made those peeps? And you don't have to do each one. You just do one and duplicate and change the colors. What's that one look like? Oh, it's kind of hard to read. I like that one. Can move the letters closer together. Do you like that one? I can't, it, to me it kind of feels like it's cold, like you're chilling, like with the snow mees. Uh oh, I can't scroll. My machine stopped, Design Space stopped letting me do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to select all. Select all. All right, we're going to see if this happens. We're going to open a new window. So I go up to the top, 
to open a new window. And we're going to copy from here. I'm going to see. I use my keyboard and see if that will work. Yes. Okay. We're back. If you watched my video last week of troubleshooting, you know how to do that. Um, I'm just duplicating this instead of adding a new text box. There's not two ways to have it open on the iPad. You can't do the save and stuff on the iPad. Uh, how do you copy? You can right click and do copy. I don't have anything selected, so all I have is paste. Uh, it, you have to select it all and then right click, go to copy, get into a new window and go to paste. Uh, I showed how to do that last week. Okay, we're going to hit save. Chilling with my peeps. Now, another thing we have to do is we have to check this by clicking make it. Okay, now if you were going to cut these out, you'd want to separate them a little bit. They're way too close to cut to put on the, on the individual ones. If you want them exactly how they are on the uh, canvas, we have to attach them. Okay, and then these, it's hard for you to see maybe because it's all black. Uh, let's go back and change that. Okay, let's just change the color. I'm just going to make it gray so you guys can see it. Okay, and then I click make it. And this isn't really how we want it. We want to cut it out in iron on. So I'm going to select this, hold down my shift key and select that one and this one. And let's see what happens. Oh, that worked. Now we can click make it. And now it will cut that way. Now this is wasting some of your product. Um, you could just do these together and then put it on how you want it. I don't even know how big this is. Oh, it's 6.38 by 7.9. It's probably about the right size. Now, if you guys want to change these fonts, I'm going to... Oh, I'm selecting this, so it's like selecting all of it. I'm going to arrange it to the back, so when I click this, I can click these. Uh, these are not... I just want to select the bunnies. So I'm going to select those in the Layers panel. I held down my Shift key while I clicked those, and... I want to align them. Oh, maybe I can click on the group. Okay, now a line will come up. And what I want to do is distribute horizontally. So they will be even, that one moved just slightly. Uh, I don't think I'm going to attach these because you have to put these on individually and if you don't put them in the exact spot, it won't work. Although you can uh, not use those too and just have the holes through there. Oh, now we want to, let's group these together. Uh, we need to 
make sure it's all straight here by clicking align and center horizontally. There. Okay, it doesn't look like it because it's, it is centered, but to me, it doesn't look centered. I'm gonna move this up for a little. You know what I forgot to do? I didn't center the chillin' in with my peeps. I have to do that before I attach them. Center horizontally. There, that's why it looks so off. Now we can select it all and align center horizontally. There we go. Does that work? Okay, I'm gonna detach this though because I'm gonna share this with you and I think I have to weld this. I have to weld this one. You just saw this video so you can see how to fix it and now I'm going to do it. The reason I'm welding it is because it has curve and it won't work on an iPad if I don't. Okay, now let's check. Ooh. See, good thing I checked. I do not have the with my peeps, but this one attached. And I knew that because when I went here, the with my peeps were up here. So always use the make it button so you know it's good. Okay, now we have to save. Uh, okay, now let's do Nomi's. So we're going to go to images. We're going to stay in the same one. Uh, I'm just going to go to, whoops, I did put that G in there. This one's known for the holidays, but. It's the newest one. I think it's just so cute. You know what? Let's just do these fun ones. Accounting for all the holidays. Oh, I like that one. This is the one I want. I was gonna take this part out of that one. Aren't they so cute? That's what I'm using in this card. Okay, I can't decide. Yes, there is a gnome for Easter. They're coming in. You can see the screen line up here. There they are. Okay, now we have a problem. <laughs> Our problem is too many. Okay, I don't remember. This one has leaves down here. Did it have one without leaves? He's good too. And I like the thumbs up, but I don't want leaves. I'm gonna scroll to the bottom. He's cute, he's dancing. Save the bees. See, he has leaves. I can edit those out. Okay. 
Okay, so now, thank you, Terry. We are going to, I could just hide these. Let me see if I can get rid of the leaves. We're going to have to cut that one off. Oh, I don't think we can. We'll have to cut those off. Hard to tell when these are not selected because they're so little. Whoops. I didn't mean to hit that. We're going to take the square and slice this leaf off. Can you go away for now? And we're going to slice this one off. Got a little something still there, I think. You have to have patience in crafting. You have to remember, this is all for fun, unless you um, make things to sell, but. this. They're kind of big. You can make them smaller. Do we like this? Of course, you can make it with any of them you want. I kind of like this guy. But I like having that girl there, too. Man, there's so much to choose from. I liked this girl's dress, but I, I like that she's holding that flower. Oh, maybe this would be better. This won't be so big. Okay. Now, before we get any further, we're still on chilling with my peeps. What I want to do is save this to be chilling with my gnomies. I know I need to change this. So I'm going to click save and click save as. So saved it as chilling with my gnomies. You guys want the girl in the middle? going to align them bottom. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean the bottom of those. Okay, we got the chillin'. We, you guys go out of the way. Okay, they're aligned now at the bottom. And I want to align distribute horizontally. No. 
it may be distributed evenly, but it doesn't work that way. I don't like it that way. Okay, I like this. You guys good with this? We're going to attach these guys. You could cut them out of different vinyl if you wanted to. I'm going to change the color just because black is so hard to see. Oh, we got to change this. So what I'm going to do is detach it. We're going to double click on this and change it to Nomi's. All in caps. Now, you guys can change this font. Like, all I have to do is click on it. Instead of the Be Happy font, you can choose another font. And let's align these center horizontally and attach. Chilling with my nomies. Now we're going to select it all and we're going to align center horizontally and we're going to attach. So now when we hit make it, let's hit save first. There's nothing wrong with saving too often. Oh, that didn't work. What happened? That's not how we want it. I guess I didn't attach this all. I didn't. Thank you, Kathy. Let's hit save again. Make it. How many likes do we have in this video? All right, it looks good. Okay, now, if you like gnomes, you might want to watch my video on Tuesday. I don't have the front of this card done. I did make this heart paper for my uh, supporters where I'm going to be uploading this where the Cricut will draw this on a 12 by 12. I'll have to show you how because it only does some part because it would be too big of a file. So I will show you that. But here's the front of this will have a heart dimensional. And this is thank you to Lois Beauregard, I think is her name. Um, she shared this with me. So you have this little sign is like a wiper. The arrow is a wiper. And this spins when you open it. Look at, I used brushed paper. I used iron-on. The gnome and the arrow has iron on on it. And oh, and all of this, where's that? The little stripes on that is glitter, iron on, and mesh with hearts in it. I used my little mini easy press. When you close it, though, you have to push this back in and put the arrow behind him. It's a little harder to close than it is to open. But it's fun. So I'll be doing this video on Tuesday. It may be a long video. There's three mechanisms in it. But once you get it, it's not too hard. I had to figure it out without a video showing me how to do it. So it took me a few tries. Okay. You guys, it's time for the giveaway. Um... I'm going to get these links ready to share with you the links, but tell me something either you learned today or something you're grateful for, because those are two things that are really important to remember what you learned, although you can always rewatch all these videos and they will have timestamps in the description. So when you go back to some of my videos, you can see the timestamps of if you just need to rewatch one part of a video, you can do that. Um, so do that and we will do the giveaway in just a minute. I'm going to get these links ready to share with you. One will say peeps and one will say gnomes.
And in order for this to open up, um, Jamie, what is it they have to do? And please do not share these projects with other people. Um, if you can try to copy and paste the link, sometimes it doesn't work on your iPad. If you're on a computer, it should work better. So as soon as we do the giveaway, then I'll share because of all of the chat. If I put it in the chat, you're going to lose it. And if you're over on Facebook, you have to come over to YouTube. There is a link in, in the description of the Facebook video. And while we're waiting for all of you to chat, you only have to chat once. Uh, Nightbot will get your name. We have a bonus video coming. So let me explain this bonus video. This bonus video will be public. You guys, everybody watching can watch this video. It will not be on Facebook except for in my Patreon Facebook group. So it will not be in my other groups or on my page or anything. So it will only be in the Patreon group. And um, only people that can chat in the YouTube chat are members. So if your name is in green and you support for 99 cents on this channel, you can chat in that video. If not, you cannot be in the live chat unless you're in the Patreon Facebook group. And the only way to get into the Patreon Facebook group, boy, my hair's a mess, is to support me on Patreon. Um, all right, so the chat is slowing down. Let's go ahead and choose a winner. Are we ready? Here we go. And are you guys uh, following me on Pinterest? Nightbot will give you my Pinterest link if somebody types in Pinterest. We have a, a winner, uh, and she happens to be a supporter. All right, are we excited to see who the winner is? Let me switch it here so you can see. Um, let me bring it over. Lisa Cook! Congratulations. Uh, Lisa Cook, you just won $25. Please use my contact form and tell me if you want that through PayPal or if you want it through Amazon gift card and I'll need the email you use for that. Okay. Oh, I was going to give you the files. So I think, I don't know if I can do them at the same time. So first will be the peeps and then the gnomes. I will post them a few times um, so you guys can get them because the chat is going pretty quickly. So I'm posting the peeps a few times it says peeps okay then I'm gonna post the gnomes and then the peeps welcome Lori and the bonus video also, I don't know what it's going to be about. It depends on what you guys ask me or what you want to talk about. Okay, let's do something really fast. 
Um, this last one I'm not going to share, except for with supporters. Um, we're going to do, oh, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Um, oh, I was going to do save as chilling with my cuties. Huh, let's do this. And then we're going to go to the bonus video. Yes, if you are a supporter on Patreon for the bonus video, make sure you're in my Patreon Facebook group to chat. But you might also want to be watching on the YouTube video to um, see all the chat. So we're going to detach all this. I'm going to delete these. Am I deleting the right thing? No. I deleted everything. Okay. All right, let's go back. Oh, I saved this here. Okay. We're going to detach. We're going to delete those. We're going to detach again. I think I want to, I don't know if I want to change the font, but I do want to change this from gnomies to cuties. Oh, let's do cats. Welcome, Natalie and Tracy. Okay, we're going to select all that, align, center horizontally. Let's just attach for now. And we're going to go to images and we go to image sets. I don't remember the name of it. Yep, there it is. Cricket Cutie. The bonus video is scheduled for 1230. We'll have to stop this a few minutes before so I can change the settings. Uh, you can cut this out of vinyl or anything you like. Um, we're just going to do this so it's more like iron-on. I don't like this. I don't know if I like him. I like this one the most. And he's too sad. So maybe we'll just use two of these. We can switch them. We can like make them look different ways so they look a little different. Okay. Do we want two of him and then him in the middle? We can duplicate. So this one I'm going to flip. So he looks a little different. Whoops. Let's move that out of the way. Can align bottom. Do we like them? Align distribute horizontally so they're even and attach. And we can actually attach the whole thing. It says detach. That, I'm noticing that it says detach and it should let you attach it. But that was quick. Oh yeah, we could do different colored ones. So we're going to detach. Detach them. And then um, green, cobalt, about twilight. Um, 
that's too close to that one. Uh, I could do the new red one. Candy apple red. Now we cannot, uh, let me attach these. We cannot attach them because they're different colors. So we have chillin' with my, and then you'd put these on separately. Let's save. Now, if you want to do them all the same color, all you have to do is uh, drag this whole thing and then click attach. Yeah, to get your name green, you have to join uh, the YouTube uh, membership, and I can give you a link for that. There's not a join button on the iPad. Let me find. It's not that one. It's not that one. I'll go through my YouTube links. Or that one. Where was the join button? Welcome. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, that was a super chat. Was it this one? I think I have a join button in the... Oh, yeah, you could foil those, too. Let me get a link. Here we go. There's a link so you can join, or under the video on YouTube, it should say join. Welcome, Becky. All right, guys, I think that's it for today. Let me give you the, I'll give you the links real fast again for the peeps and the gnomes. And later I will try to upload these to my website so all supporters can easily get them. All right. So in the next video, you do have to be a member in order to chat, but you can watch it. Um, so I'm gonna say goodbye on this video. That video will be at 12.30. Welcome, Michelle. And you can join during that video. You can join membership just like Michelle did. And um, then you can chat in the video. I don't know what the video is going to be about. You can ask design space questions. You can ask anything you want to ask. Doesn't mean I'll give you the answer. <laughs> just tease it. Well, depends on what you ask, I guess. Um, so that'll be fun. This is going to be our first time doing this. Uh, we're going to try to do this on the fourth Saturday of every month. Oh, and this Tuesday we have a crop. So if you support on Patreon for $5 or more, we're going to be making this card and this can be slid up or down. And then we're going to color on the inside. The Cricut drew this. So this is a file I shared with the people coming to my crop. It's Tuesday nights at 8 to 10. And there's prizes and fun. And we can see what everybody makes. And we work on it all together. Or you can work on whatever you want. All right. Now I'm saying goodbye. And we will be back in 25 minutes. And who knows what's going to go on in that video. Bye, guys.